Enjoying Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze? Get episodes 30 days early at patreon.com slash superbeardbros. Now watch some footage of Ted eating one of his favorite snacks, soft goat's milk cheese. Also, Gerard's back. Kaz a floater. Hey, what's up? Freeze. Freeze. What? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I said Ted has a floater. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to Super Beard Bros. <laughs> We're here. Ted's got a thing in his eyeball. We are out here playing this. Three guys. We're playing to a eye crumble cavern. The only reason this is somewhat funny is because not two minutes ago, Ted was like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the first thing Alex does is... Talk about to thousands of people over the world. They're going to ask him about this in one and a half months, and he's going to be like, oh, that old thing? How's your floater, Ted? <laughs> oh. Wait, what do they mean by floater? Is Ted okay? Check out World 1-2 here. <laughs> what I mean is that Ted's uh, kneecaps are completely free-floating in his legs. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Go up? On the right? You see that? When he gets up from a chair, oh, that's it just, just sounds like a... Like when you shake a paint can. Oh, hey. hey, you know what? Yeah. What's one dead monkey for science? You got seventy-eight monkeys mm. in the in the chamber. This yeah. sounds like an old children's rhyme. What's one dead monkey for science? We got seventy-eight <laughs> monkeys in the chamber. It's like a <laughs> one monkey dies. How many monkeys left? It doesn't matter because they're just monkeys. It's like from the Enlightenment. <laughs> it's from the. <laughs> It's an old nursery rhyme, not from like the the, the bubonic plague. Like What's ashes, one ashes. dead monkey for science? <laughs> I don't know why they're British now. Test that makeup on your animals. <laughs> That's how we advance as a society. Also, I'm more, my jingles are sounding more like <laughs> uh, like toy and game jingles from the '90s. Like it's fun getting into trouble, I you know. Win! Yeah, that's what it's saying. Let's try it. You do yeah, cue that I, up. I got you. Um, what's one dead monkey next to advancement of society? I win! Yeah, it works. It works. I win just you I remember. win. You did was that on this show that I asked? Which I don't think it was. If you put a Bluetooth oh. in your head? No, no. Um Okay, Gerard, you know what we're referring to, right? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you because right, I think I'm you fucked up by Alex saying when you put a Bluetooth in your head. Yeah, Gerard, yeah. You, you've been gone for a while. We, we've covered all this. This we're, is old hat. We're transhumanists now. Uh, Gerard, you remember those commercials, right? From back in the day, like... Yeah, don't wake daddy. I win! All of them. All yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, Culminated with oh, that, Oh, yeah, we right? were on here. We were... Was, I, that, was I, that this I show? What, I think it might have been... I feel like that was this show. It could be Mario Sunshine. Gerard, are you fuck with me? It could be Mario Sunshine. No. Who sent you? What do you mean, who sent me? I think it might Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what do you mean? Brett just was woke that up. this show? Brett just came online. Was that this show where I asked if y'all related to the I Win Kid? I I know that you asked. We talked that. about it on on this show. So why are you making me sound crazy, Gerard? I, you're like, not you, crazy. It might have been the podcast, and it might have been oh. Mario Sunshine. But if Gerard remembers it, it I remember. I feel like then it was here. Yeah. Ted, do you remember? No. Y'all are. Trifling ass niggas. Ted's got other shit on his on his mind. Right I remember Hi Ho Cheerio. Was that the day? Oh man, Hi Ho Cheerio. Everything blends together, guys. Right, we've been doing the show for too long. I can't yeah. tell you anything about anything. I don't even know these guys. Ted, who are you? Asking somebody who they are by by name. <laughs> Ted Coonrod, who the hell are you? <laughs> what the hell do you have to say for yourself? Literally, he has like oh, what is that for? his like place of origin from on the, his uh, clothes. <laughs> Oh, wasn't that like Indian girl? <laughs> Don't yeah. believe me. Don't I am a, me. True, I am a liar. true liar. Hey, hey, hey. What the hell do you have to say for yourself? Hey, hey, hey is the best part. Yeah. <clears throat> Not to be confused with. I hate Facebook. <laughs> it is toilet. It is toilet. Toilet. It's toilet. It's toilet. What was that? Sri Lanka? Yeah. It's like one of those countries that just we don't even realize like some tech billionaire is taking over their whole fucking internet. So insane. There should be a name for the phenomenon that I just experienced. Which one? 
happens all the time at my house, specifically because of what we were discussing earlier, the fact that like next door to me is like a someone like owns a semi truck. Dude, that is the wildest shit ever. And what'll happen is sometimes I'll be sitting there and then like oh, he'll you can do this. You can you do this. It, you got it. You've got it. Uh yes. I'll be sitting there and then he'll turn his semi on. And it's loud as fuck. It's across the street. Rattles the window sometimes. It's so loud and it vibrates so hard. Uh Someone's and then it'll, I th it'll it, and it feels like he sits in his driveway for what feels like 45 minutes. Long time. I, I guess you got to warm up that engine and really destroy the planet before you can go out there on the road or something. I'm sure some truck driver who watches Super Beard Bros will log in and let you know what's going on. Oh, that's great. I'll be sure to ignore that. Yeah. So, uh, we, like, it'll, ha it'll go for so long. It'll go for so long that the vibrations and the sound, I'll forget about it. Like, I'll become acclimated to it. Yeah. And it's only when it disappears, when he drives away or turns the engine off, that I'll go, oh, yeah, it's been sounding horrible in here. Yeah. That just happened in here with, I think, the air conditioner or something. Yeah. It just turned off. It was and, the air and, conditioner. And, yeah. and it feels, I don't know about y'all, feels way better in here to Peace, be. Peaceful. Right? Yeah. There should be a name for that phenomenon. Like, where you like only only becoming aware that you were uncomfortable when that long existing discomfort finally goes away. That's my bathroom fan like every day of my life. Mm. Or my actually, You gotta get all those. You got to. My kitchen fan too also is really one that I forget about all the time. We should think of a name for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like like uh, like uh, like kind of something like phantom limb kind of something sure, in that, in that sure. realm. Uh, it should end with awareness, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, like adaptive awareness. Um, like chronic absence awareness, or something like that. Because you're you're talking about what? What's the word mean? The word is the sense of relief that you get from no, getting rid of. No, it's something? the sense of awareness. You go, oh yeah, I I have been listening to this. So the so the word is about the moment when you realize that the fan has been on the whole time, or something. Yes, okay. that you forgot, you forgot, and now you remembered. You realize selective. Awareness. It's not, but it's not that it's selective. Like, we don't know that. Like, what's like? It's not that it's like it's a mystery of like what's causing oh, this. You got fuck. that. You got that. You got that. But it's like you decide not to pay attention to it anymore. No, no, it's not a decision. Well, so subconsciously, your bot, your your ears yeah. decide to stop. Yeah, you get used to it. to it. Yeah, you got that. I wonder what the difference is between the. Oh, I see. The dried ones go away. They fall. Yeah. But anyway. Just thought I'd bring that up because now it feels much better in here now that the air conditioner is off. That's a that's that's something that as a as an older person who's lived in the same house for a long time, mm. that's a big one for me. That's a big part of my life is that feeling. Fuck. Which like, one you want? Which one you want? Top? I don't know. I don't even go know. For top. Can you go to the top? Oh, you can. Okay. Interesting. Oh, can you oh, do the a middle barrel right there? Yeah, that's clean. Was that like a hidden one? It, it another, felt another like another bonus. It. Yeah, it felt like it was hidden. This. Top to bottom, baby. Dude, this game fucks. Yeah, man, this game sexual intercourse. Man. Here's one of the real things. Like, I it's like an old joke on Beard Bros, but like the idea that there's too many good games on the Switch is really true. Mm. Like, I know that it's like important to Nintendo to have like market share on like indie games and software titles, and that you need to provide games to people like you know, in a digital delivery system because you know sometimes they won't be able to get access to certain games. But I feel like everything would be better if there was like one fifth. What? One fifth the amount of games? Yeah, like if one fifth as many games came out on the Switch, like life would be better. Oh, all right. What the fuck. Like, imagine if you weren't Oof. like not done with the last game you played when a new game came out. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. That's the thing I really don't understand about. No, I hate that. Like hype beasts. Is it seems weird that like people are like hyped for all these new games to come out because like how many of them are you gonna play? Hmm. I guess there's something for everybody, but it really like the idea of a good direct or a bad direct is really <gasps> like. Ah! There you go. <laughs> Immediately. He didn't even hesitate. Oh, oh, never again. Donkey Kong himself was like, I understand. Mm -hmm. Take me to the beat. Take you me mean, to the He abyss. just went Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, he went. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that voice. Oh, is that from Smash Brothers? Yeah. 64? Yeah. Donkey Kong. Yeah. 
Donkey Samus. Kong. Samus. What were we saying? Is the same guy? Oh, it's the SNL guy and the uh, mm. the Smash Bros guy. Yeah. Sherry to O'Terry. To me, Ninja. that guy sounds like <laughs> just a ghost. Like Don Pardo. On a gas star. Yeah. Yeah. He's the ghost of Studio Thirty or whatever. Remember when Chris Rock was here? Mm. <laughs> Not really. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. My hope. Ooh. Garrett Morris. Do you remember that Robert Downey Jr. was a cast member of SNL? No. Yeah. Him, him, Julia Louis Dreyfus, uh, and what's his name? Oh, oh my God, Dave, that's so good. Uh, what the fuck is that guy's name? Andy Dick? No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, very I solid guess. I yeah. Uh, oh really? Oh, I you could just die. I didn't even. I didn't know that the barrel was gonna fall. Wow. <laughs> no, what's his name? Uh, sunglasses, bald guy. On Dave Letterman. Dave Letterman? Schaefer? Yeah, Paul Schaefer. Paul Schaefer was on SNL for a season. <laughs> as a fucking cast member. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 1980s trivia, early 90s trivia for you guys. I'm sure they dig that. You gotta do something more for the kids out there. We gotta make references Fuck that they'll appreciate. Kids, do, 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 Question do, of the day. Do, 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 Question do, of the day. Do, do, do. What percentage? We don't give a shit about kids. Nope, nope. We're three old fat guys. Fuck off. <laughs> we remember. Going back for the end. Paul Shaver was in. Oh, Logan has an L cast. I'm trying to like redo this right now, but it's just cog. Oh god. Cogs of war. Uh. Question of the day, what percentage of the references that we make do you get? I have a prediction. I think this is going to be higher than I think. I was going to say that I think this is going to be harder for people to answer. I don't think that's the case. I think most people's answers isn't going to be as accurate as they think it will be. Because I think a lot of people don't, they just miss the references. Like... Like we just move too fast. We're just so much smarter, is what? No, I'm not. Just we're just very so esoteric. Much, I'm just saying that like we're just so much better than our audience. That's Gerard's. Yeah, you get it. Uh, yeah. No, what I'm saying <laughs> is that change me, you guys. I think that uh, that's a joke. Some, case. Like I think a lot of people <laughs> don't want to don't that recognize that. that we're making a reference. They just think that we're being silly on our own. Yeah, and then, like and that that's not has nothing to do with yeah, our audience. Go. That's just right. the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, that scares Whoa. me the most. The bow fuck. The bow fuck. I want you to know that if you ever think a reference isn't a reference, that joke wasn't for you. Explain that. I want people to laugh at that who you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Look, Never mind. So I didn't get the reference. I'm just, just now? Yeah. You did. I mean, I didn't make one. And then I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just saying, like, in general. Uh, yeah, please explain. I want everybody to know that if you get the reference when I make a reference, that's who I'm making the joke for. Oh, you're saying that was for you, buddy? Yeah. Oh, okay. All this time. Fuck me! The dumb thing, the frustrating thing about that is that it gives you so much leeway on the barrel, but yeah. not on the letter. Mm, 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 mm. It like should, you should get the N if you make it into that barrel. Yeah, Bell, Bell's got a much bigger yeah. hurt box. What's the L and R do? It's like a screen clear. Oh. Oh, right. right. Maybe that'll be useful for a boss fight or something. I think it's stable during boss fights, actually. Yeah. Well, we're gonna turn this game off because it's trash. No. Can we say that the Prince Ali song is like honorarily from Donkey Kong Country? There it is. All good. Don't worry about it. All good. Here comes the G. Nailed it. Kong. What's the, name? What's the name of those dog toys? Kongs? Yeah. Yeah. You know what we should do after we beat this? We should play Peter Jackson's King Kong for the Xbox 360. I would like to not do that. You joke, but I think Alex would you'd actually be down for that. Would I be? Oh, a hundred percent. Right. Right. I want to remind everybody there was a time in video games. When the coolest game in the world mm -hmm. that you could see was Peter Jackson's King Kong for the Xbox 360. Mm. Like, there was a time when that was the hypest well, shit that they, anybody they, has ever seen. They kind of build it as, um, as like, just game. as revolutionary as Peter Jackson's King Kong movie. Yeah. 
Which is to say, not very. Yeah, not no, very. No. The technology is impressive for sure. It felt right at the. It felt great. It felt amazing at, in the moment in like 2005 or whatever year mm -hmm. that was. I would much rather watch Peter Jackson's or either one. I would much rather watch either a Heavenly Creatures. Remember okay. that one? Yeah, incredible, incredible film. Or Frighteners. Fucking Frighteners, man. Yeah. Frighteners, I dude. can't. Jeff Combs, get man. Enough. I just can't get enough frighteners. One of my get enough one of my greatest joys in life was getting to shake the hand of Jeffrey Combs Lucky. and be like, "God damn it, dude! You're in everything I like." I know you're absolutely right. I was on a podcast with Jeffrey Combs once. Yeah, what? Same podcast, but like not same segment, so I never got to meet him. Oh, oh. <sighs> we used to we used to do comedy with his daughter, so she he was around from time to time. What I wouldn't give. What I wouldn't give. There, that's the one right there. Now you're thinking fourth dimensionally, Gerard. Yeah, that was clean. Also, I'm coming around on Diddy's shirt. I, I, I think his shirt is dumb. What? It's like what? a it's like an ugly T-shirt to wear. Like I love, I love his little shirt. If you put it on a human being, it would be like a dumbass shirt. But I, I think I like it now. Hello? Uh, what is this a Wario wear? Yeah, we got. Oh, oh yo, we got. I can already oh, look at this. I really, I, I really yeah. don't like this. Yeah, we got Donkey Bird. I can already tell this is the worst. I, I actually like this mechanic in like general. Kern. I don't, I, you know, I don't know how this one is, but those baby bells. I love this. They look like them. Yeah, they look yeah. like laughing cows. This huh? Cheese horde right here. So, what do you think, Gerard? Do you think you get something for completing those lines of banana? Unless it's incredibly obvious. They, I mean, it looked like Alanda Banane, you know? Alanda Banane. Ah, Alanda. I think I dated her in middle school. Alanda Banane. Yeah. <laughs> Ted liked that. Alanda Banane absolutely sounds like she's from like TGI, like a TGIF TV show. Almost. Almost had it. I'm very curious. You know what I mean? Yeah. Try this one. Try this one. Okay. Well. They're like, fuck off, dude. Maybe if you die again, you can try that first line again, huh? If this was, if I was reading trivia <gasps> on this game from like the Donkey Kong wiki, I guarantee that, that, like, that, like, somebody has written, like, that oh, this level fuck. is a reference to Ratatouille. Maybe we should ask Alanda. Alanda Danene. Alanda Danene was the vice principal of my middle school. Max Banan? Mm. Max Banan, uh, He's my mechanic. Oh, fucking hell, man. Right. Donkey Kong should get like dun, lasting, dun, 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 like chronic injuries dun, 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 from the things that happen to him. But his body's too strong. Oh. Like, remember in, in uh, uh, Lord of the Rings Assassin's Creed? When you like slice some dude's face in half and then he comes back and he's like, Yeah, that's right. They taped my face together. <laughs> Uh oh, are you just gonna beat the level? Yeah, I already missed K and O. Okay. K O. Oh wow. Ugh. Something about that. It's unsettling. The light, the hard, the hard, harsh lighting on the rats is like very, very scary looking. Because that's how that? we see, see rats that? a lot of the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you see that up there? Then there was like something at the top of the of that little area that looked like a little secret. Yeah, I don't think we're going for secrets anymore, baby. Yeah, I think I fucked up. I'm gonna By do doing this series. Giant baby bill. Giant baby bill. The cheese block. Do you guys have baby bells in your life? Uh, not usually. I'm sorry, I'm not. What are you referring to? A baby bell is like a little red circle of cheese that comes wrapped in wax, in wax paper. Wax. Oh, these things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I ate them all the time. Yeah. I, That's probably I, why you got that flow. That was in my mouth. That was in my. Um, that lunch. was way long ago, Brett. Dang it. Maybe you're not eating enough. I don't want to talk about it. Right. That's why you bring up the baby bells. Then. Guys, ask Ted how his floater's doing. Oh. Uh. <laughs> now I'm having a good time. Do you think? Do you think by the time? Do you think by the time this episode goes live on 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 YouTube that your floater will be gone? I, I hope so. I have absolutely. Hope. Absolutely. I have hope for you too, Ted. I think Thank you're going to you. get through this. I don't think you need. You know, the good thing about talking to others about your problems <laughs> is that sometimes you find people who've had the same problem and then they bring you peace of mind. <laughs> it's so condescending. Is it go through something that you've been through? You know, it's not condescending. It's real. <laughs> it's real. You know the good thing about talking, buddy? Yeah, it's because sometimes other people 
have feelings just like you. Yeah. You know, if nobody ever sees this type of conversation play out in their real lives. You make a good point. They'll never know. You make a good point. And you know, maybe I am being condescending, but it's not for Ted. Right, right. Ted knows he's going to get through it. You're being demonstrative for... Yeah, it's, it's for the reference for the people at home who understand what This whole conversation's going to... This whole episode's yeah, going to reference to... Reference to... Ratatouille. Yeah. Oh, Dude, rat yeah. When I, saw this, when I saw that baby wow. bell, I, I time-traveled back to the time when I got my floater. Mm-hmm. And that's how I know it's going to be okay, <laughs> this Ted. Shit, this shit's hard. We, yeah, but it looks like fun. I'm just pressing a button. I'm, I'm pressing the... I'm just pressing one single button. That's how you play, dude. Dude, I, I had Flappy Bird on my phone till it stopped working. Isn't there a helicopter game like this? On, like, Game Boy or some shit? I'm, oh. sure, I'm sure, dude. Jeez. Ooh. Let's play one of those uh, Desert Storm helicopter games from Sega Genesis on here. Oh, It's like young Goofy vibes. <laughs> I wonder what the young Goofy theme song would have sounded like. Does Goofy have like a piece of music associated with him besides the Goof Troop theme song? Probably not. Mm. I mean, like, At least I know one that we care about. I, I understand that like power line counts, I guess. Stand out. But you would never like you would never like honor Goofy at a award show. Mm -hmm. Like, what would you play for Goofy if you walked out in a award show? Right, right, right. Probably just nah, 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 nah. that sucks though. Nah, nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. All right, but look, what, what would you play for Donald? Donald, I would play uh, um, the Three Amigos. Isn't it theme. ironic by uh, Alice uh, uh, Alanis by Morissette? Alice and Chains? Alice Morissette. I want to hear "Ironic" by Even Alice and Chains. Flow. That'd be kind of badass, brother. Oh, wait, wait this, whoa, 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 there's definitely some over there. Yeah. And that's not even Alice and James. Yeah. Na, 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 na. Yeah. Yeah. Show you look at a barrel. That was a rough stage, guys. G. G. Tight. What's the star mean? I think that's what the, you get for getting the call. I think you get all the Kongs, you get the star. Oh. Let's call this episode G Wiz. Mm. I don't like that reference. Mr. G's Cafe. It's a reference to Mr. G's Cafe in Lomita. Oh. Mystery of the day. Why is that place still in business? No one knows, dude. Check it out on Yelp. Check it out. Mr. G's Cafe in Lamita. Why is that place still in business? Dude, did you see the fantastic cafe burned down? Come again? Right here next to the on office. Western? Yeah. I you know got what? torched, bro. You know, I was wondering about that because I saw I had no idea until Pat told me. I saw some shit. That was messed up. Not the one by your house. No, the one that's down the street from us, right here. Whoa. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it, it was got closed burnt. up. Burnt. The one by the brewery. Burnt, bro. God damn. That's like Super my burnt that's bros. like my go-to place for breakfast sandwich. Oh. Hello? Oh, we did this stage already. I just, I just gotta beat normally. Oh, this is just the do, secret do, exit. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh yay. Did you guys see the the new little uh Mario Brothers uh, Super Show, the like teaser the plumber thing? commercial. Yeah, delightful. Isn't, isn't that great? It's delightful. Like I, I, I think the movie's gonna be very enjoyable. Uh, I don't, I don't plan on thinking about any of the voice actors in the movie Ooh. at any point during the film. Yeah, I agree. I feel like I'm not going to like hear. I, I feel like they're gonna be not. I'm not gonna hear them as themselves in the movie. And I dislike maybe, maybe Chris Jack Pratt. Black. Maybe, I, I, maybe yeah. only Jack Black. Jack Black is good enough that I hopefully will not think about Jack Black. But Chris Pratt, like whatever, whatever. I get why people don't like him, but I don't think he's bad at acting. Woo! The animation of of DK hiding in the toboggan is like me. Yeah. That's how you feel. <laughs> that's me logging on to Twitter.com. Yeah, that, that, that that's, something that's crazy me and my, and my two years of G4 in the end. Just hiding. Mm. When I see UFOs trending on Twitter, that's how I log on right there. When a new horror game is released, that's me logging on to Twitter. 
My favorite thing about Twitter is the amount of people that still tweet at me thinking I'm on the Illuminati podcast. Mm. I wish I wish that I could like somehow like look into the science of how people think that our voices sound the same. Mm. They don't sound the same at all. Do you think that our voice sounds the same, Brett? No, but I'm a bad person to ask that question to. Why? Because I know you both for a long time in person. I guess, yeah. I, it, it feels wild to me. I don't even think we... I feel like we don't even have the same cadence. No. But we're big husky boys, and we all sound the same. Do I sound fat? Ooh, well, that's a good question. Question of the day. Dude, that's that's a... I, I don't know. I mean, look, mm. I'm fat. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not fat. You know who you could ask? Huh? Who will probably tell you the truth? Huh? That guy sitting over there. Oh, yeah. Ted. Who sounds fat out who of all of us? Who sounds fat out of all of us? All of us? This is a trap. Some of us? I won't mention I won't mention the floater in your eye one more time. <laughs> if you tell me if I sound fat on mic. <laughs> who sounds fat you know out of all of us? It is for me I, that I'm going to I'm going to say the same response as Brett. I'm a bad person to ask because I know fair you enough. guys personally too long. Fair enough. Fair That's, fair. That's I, fair. I think I think the key to identifying a large person is their laughter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> when, they, when they laugh like this, oh, where's the sound word? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like English. So, so, weird. It sounds not. like muzzy. Because the oh, <laughs> That sounds like English. We gotta go next time on Beer Bros. We find out who sounds fat. sandwich. <laughs> if you ever hear me actually laugh, that's how you know when I'm I'm fat. Because when I actually laugh, you actually tell me a joke that tickles me. I go, oh. <laughs> yeah, you and sound I'm on his shoulder like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so Brett sounds like Salacious Crumb, mm -hmm. and Alex sounds like a, a Japanese samurai warrior about to go to battle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.